now that we have our zirconia restoration cemented, what about removing it? You know, sometimes you need to remove a zirconia crown because it just needs to be replaced for whatever reason. But as we know, zirconia is really a hard material. After all, that's why we use it. This video is going to discuss various ways to remove the restoration, whether it's bonded or cemented, and that does matter. Burrs. So burrs are the traditional way to remove a restoration. We actually want to use a fine red diamond. You can use any shape that you like, and fine red diamonds are good to prevent trauma on vital teeth. For example, this brass red diamond is a great recommendation. Our recommended speed is 100,000 RPMs. Now, fine red diamonds cut the zirconia better. If we use a large, coarse diamond, what happens is that the large diamonds actually break off and then the rest of the diamonds get clogged and it doesn't cut. Another option is to use a brass or a diamond duracut round end taper. And these duracut diamonds are coated with this chromium nitrate that actually minimizes the clogging. The recommended cutting speed for this burr is 200,000 RPMs. Let's go a little non-traditional. We've got lasers out there now. We have a Solea laser, which is a CO2 laser, and we have the Photana Light Walker, which is an erbium YAG. How do these two things work? First, we have a Solea, which is a CO2 laser. It uses a 9.3 micron wavelength, and it's located at the peak of hydroxyapatite absorption. What does that mean? It basically evaporates and vaporizes enamel. So this laser energy, when we apply it to zirconia, causes the surface temp temperature to increase considerably. Before the ablation threshold is reached for zirconia, however, there's a crystal phase change because of that instantaneous temperature increase. And then as your laser moves to another portion, the previous area cools down, and then the phase transformation reverses, you get a volume expansion, and then it leads to cracking. So these are our settings. On the Solea V3, we want a 1.0 spot, 100% power, and a 13 milliliter per minute mist. We want to laser about 45 seconds buccal lingually, and then 45 seconds mesial distally. And then once we have that done, we're going to take a fine diamond at 9,000 RPMs, wet, to suction it, because now the crystals have been broken and it's much easier to use a burr on. The Fontana Light Walker is an erbium YAG laser. The wavelength here is located at the peak of water absorption, so that's different. The laser energy is going to bypass the restorative material and it's going to be absorbed in the cement, basically evaporating the cement now. There's no heat or damage to the tooth, and certain bonding materials are high in water content. So resin-modified glass ionomer is going to have a higher content of water than self-adhesive universal resin cement. And why does that matter? That matters because that means the one that's cemented with RMGI is going to break the bond much faster than the one with the self-adhesive resin cement. What's the workflow? The workflow is using an HO2 Erbium YAG tipless handpiece. We're going to use modified standard settings. Uh, we can use 450 millijoules, but depending on the thickness of the zirconia, some doctors will tend to increase that. You're going to bathe the restoration in laser energy from all the possible angles. And it can take anywhere from one to five minutes, depending on the thickness of the material. It's less traumatic to the tooth. There's no grooves in the teeth from the penetration of the burrs. And there's less wear and tear on the high-speed handpiece or any wasted diamond burrs. Uh, the bonding resin might be slightly charred, but it can be removed with air abrasion and a burr with a light touch. As you can see in this video, this veneer comes off pretty quick. So that's a quick overview of some different methods of removing zirconia crowns. And these methods can also be applied to lithium disilicate. Now that you understand the who's, what's, and why's of zirconia, I hope you're excited to implement it into your practice. Thanks so much for watching.